new filter, short fat, new filter, tall skinny, same, same. Let's go back again to the 7007, the original, the OG. Ah, metal with perforated holes. This is about the Kawasaki small engine oil filters, all the different variants and part numbers over the years. Some models have replaced other ones, other ones are hard to find. Sometimes they come on a mower from the factory and then the replacement is a different part number. I'm just gonna go over these filters real quick and I'm just gonna get right to the take home point that everyone's probably looking at this video for. And that is all these filters are interchangeable and I'm gonna read an old bulletin from Kawasaki here. So way back to 2009 is when Kawasaki put out this bulletin and all they're saying is that they had some clearance issues dropping different engines into different platforms, whatever it may be, that the long filter, the 7010, was causing interference. So they made the 7007. And you can pause and read the notes off to the side. They broke them up into two different categories. But some of the newer engines were a little bit tighter tolerances. So that's when they created the 7007 filter. You can still find the 7007. It's kind of rare now. And the 7010, they've all switched to the 0721 and 0724. And the, those are completely different sizes as well. It's not like they just changed the part number. They're completely different filters altogether. So I'm going to scroll down a little bit more, pause if you need to. But again, they break them up into different categories. And they just talk about interference with hydraulic lines, frame, cables, wiring, etc. And so you may see different filters on different machines. One's not meant for the other. I wouldn't be surprised if some leave the factory with smaller filters, bigger filters, just whatever they have on hand, but they do fit. So now I'm gonna throw a curveball just for shits and grins. I threw a Donaldson in here in the mix. And I wrote on the box here, just so I know for my records, the P502015 Donaldson oil filter is the 7010 slash 0724 replacement. So 7010, 0724. And we'll get to these in a minute. But I just wanted to show you these real quick. And we'll open these up here as well. We'll open the box. We're not going to open a filter. And the Donaldson 502024 replaces the 7007 slash 0721 filter. All right, let's get a flashlight and look inside the 7007 here. See what we can do. Let's look up close at the gasket, move the light source around so you can see. And I'm assuming it should be orange. This is an older filter. This filter's been sitting in this tune-up kit box for probably a couple years. But if you notice, I don't see a bypass valve in the bottom. Maybe that's incorporated into that bottom piece, but I'm not seeing it. But anyways, it's it's hard to see in there. I just want to poke around, show you guys close up, hopefully. Not sponsored by Olight here, by the way. But it's hard to see the pleats. Let's compare it to the new replacement. 7007, new guy, 0721. First off. People say there's no anti-drain back valve or no check valve in here, flow back valve. There sure in hell is. You gotta look inside. This looks like some sort of baffle right here, right? But if you look behind there or underneath there, you can see the valve. So let's look at this one close up. If you look down in there, hopefully I'm doing somewhat justice. That's why I'm moving the light source around the angle here. See that? You can see the orange valve. It's underneath, there's like dual stages. And there's a lot of holes. Maybe we'll count holes in a minute here. But there's a lot of holes in there. I'd assume there's about 20 holes underneath this baffle plate, which there's eight holes on the top, right? Not counting the big one in the center. Your oil goes in on the outer ring, comes out. Goes to the engine on the, the inner circle, in case you didn't know. All right, so let's look inside this bad boy. Oh, there's the old, what I call a spring plate. I don't know. 
bypass valve. So theoretically, when the, the oil filter becomes clogged or the flow rate is too high, the pressure's too high, that'll push down and it'll bypass the filter completely so you still have oil flow. Some filters didn't have that. So inside, and I did a teardown on this again. I did a whole video and actually opened one of these up on the Kawasaki 0721 filter. And they're, to me, they're made pretty well. But there's the uh, neoprene, or I don't know if it's silicone or whatever. The uh, check valve, it's orange, you can see it. But interesting that, that they have this baffle design. And I wish uh, maybe somebody from Kawasaki or somebody that has more knowledge in these than I do will chime in and let us know why they went to that. So the other million dollar question is who makes these? This is made in the USA. But I'll tell you, after looking at the inside of this and the, the new 0724, which is the 7010 replacement, they look an awful lot like Supertech filters, Walmart filters. They're okay filters. There's worse out there, I promise you that. But I believe the Supertechs are made by Champion. Wow, 223.5. 204.5 so it is it is slightly lighter so while we get the scale out real quick let's just go on to the 7010 and 0724 so old news here 7010 Kawasaki 177 ish the new replacement 0724 159 so the new filters are lighter does it mean they're thinner something's thinner somewhere I'm not going to pull the gaskets out and pull these apart and start weighing stuff, but I mean, you get the idea. I can tell you now on the 0721 and the old uh, 7007, you can just see the thickness right in here. It seems pretty stout. Of course, that's it sounds thinner because I'm, I'm striking the baffle. I can't get down below. But before you ask, we're going to do it. We're going to line them up as best as we can. And you can see the overhang, right? Same inner diameter and on the engine. Now, if you've got an engine, the ring that this filter screws onto and where this O-ring seals that just doesn't cut the mustard, then you, you might not want to use that filter or if it's a little too close for comfort, whatever. But Kawasaki says these are both interchangeable. They will seal, they will work. Now, let's look inside. All right, so looking inside, we can see the same blue bypass valve. This is a 7010. Orange quality check valve. But the vents in there are a little different. These little flow vents. And it's got this little twist ridge that goes on in there. But these were tried and true for the longest time, 7010. So now let's look at its replacement, the 0724. So shining a light, first thing you can see There's a check valve, but there's no metal screen inside. It's just raw filter. Similar to the 0721, which is a short, fat, new version of the 7007. So this is the new, we'll call it the tall filter, right? 0724. Here's the 0721, the new short fat filter. Same thing, you can see the black plastic, well, I don't know what you wanna call it, just a little grid that keeps the medium place. New filter, short fat, new filter, tall skinny, same, same. Let's go back again to the 7007, the original, the OG. Ah, metal with perforated holes. Possibly no bypass valve, I don't see anything. Now the old school 7010, bypass valve, metal perforation, different holes. So 
Interesting. So now hold these two guys up close. So if this 0724 is the new replacement for the old 7010, these are both the taller filters. Why are they uh why do they have a height difference? Here we go again. So let's compare this. Let's talk new filters now. Here's the 0721 replacing the 7007, and here's the 0724 replacing the 7010. 7010 was taller than the 7007, but now when we look at these guys, it's a little taller. Same thing going on with the diameter of the O-ring. but a much different filter compared to the 7010. These are pretty close, 770721, different internals. If this really does not have a bypass valve inside, I wouldn't run the 7007. That's just me. And I'm curious to see why this baffle is on here on the 0721. The old 7010. And a new 0724. Completely different here. Now, the new 0721, the shorty, underneath this little baffle plate, all those holes under there, they look similar to this. These are kind of oval shaped. The ones underneath this baffle plate are round. No, they are oval. I can see it now. Yeah, they're oval. And there's almost as many as this. So a lot smaller holes, but more holes in the newer style filters, opposed to the older ones that have bigger holes, but less. So here's the Donaldson. This is the equivalent of the 7010 and 0724. So we'll get those out of the picture. All these filters are interchangeable and they're all three different sizes ever so slightly. Isn't that crazy? I don't know if I want to break the seal on this Donaldson. But looking inside, I don't know if you can see that or not. It's got the metal structure inside on the walls. It's not straight pleats from the media. It's got metal protection. There looks to be a, a bypass valve. It's not it might be a, of a spring sort, but it's different. It's not blue. There you go. So it's very similar to the old 7010 here, where you've got the metal walls. And again, this is the 7010 replacement. So this is Donaldson's version of the 7010. And the 0724. This is the newest kit on the block. This is old news. There's a slight different capacity. You're, you're, you're getting a little less with the new filter. 7010 to me is where it's at, but you got different construction. You might have different flow rates, etc. So onto the flow rate. Let me pull up that PDF real quick. All right, Donaldson PDF. This is the 502015 replacement for the 7010. Or 0724 filter and they're great they give you all of the specs in inches and then millimeters as well so it's 50 percent efficiency at 20 microns the best information i could get off the kawasaki's are about 25. so why is that important oh i just noticed the the gaskets black in this interesting i'd rather go with this one or this one why is that important well just like oil filters and oil viscosity, that when you first start an engine, a lot of guys will say, oh, start it at full throttle, start it at medium throttle, start. I don't like that because if, you, if you're starting your engine at full throttle or even half throttle to warm it up, you're putting a lot more pressure into this filter, especially when that oil is not warmed up and you've got a higher viscosity oil. So now what's happening is if this is a higher micron 
or we'll call it lower, higher efficiency filter, we'll say, and lower micron, so it's a better filter, Donaldson as it should be, right? Then maybe this bypass valve is going to be more prone because there's more of an of obstruction in there. So it's already fighting against you while this is a better filter. When you turn that key and you rev up your engine to warm it up in a hurry, you're already, you're bypassing. So you better damn well make, I mean, you can sit here and split hairs about filters. You better keep fresh oil in there is my number one goal. And my take home on all of this is use whatever filter that fits. You can't go wrong. Keep your oil clean. Put the best viscosity for your environment and clean it often. Change the oil and the filter. And my personal taste, I won't go more than 50 hours. 50 hours in a Kawasaki V2N FR691V in my skag, 50, five zero hours. Uh, change the oil, change the filter. And before we go, let me pull out this other one and I'll read you the specs. I read you some, but they're the same. This is Donaldson 502024. It is the replacement for the Kawasaki 7007 filter, the original gangster and its replacement, the 0721. Look at that. Totally different guy. Another black anti low back, uh, drain back valve, check valve, call what you want. And on the inside, I don't want to break this seal, guys. And on the inside, holes. Metal, encased, holes, and a bypass valve. Now one thing to note, these O-rings here are round on both, no, correction, only on this one. Round on this one, this one's flat, just like this one in all the Kawasaki's. So now the Donaldson filters, basically they're both 20 micron filters. They have bypass valves. They're confirming that they're, they have anti-drain back valves. And there's a bypass valve setting, bypass valve setting, LR and HR, I'm assuming high range and low range, 12 PSI on the Donaldson's. Bypass valve setting low range 12 PSI and high range is 15 PSI. So somewhere in that area is when this bypass valve will start to activate. What's the oil pressure on these engines? I don't know. Some guys have hooked up little gauges onto their engines and they're reading 60, 30, sometimes zero. So who knows? But I don't think you can go wrong with any of these filters. Again, just keep your oil clean and change it regularly. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it's not much information, but it was something to, to obtain all these filters and just get them all out on the table and, and look at them. It's, it's pretty crazy. But uh, as far as the Kawasaki's are concerned, they're all interchangeable. Just get what you can, okay? Thanks for stopping by and watching this. And if you made it this far, congrats. You should be a subscriber if you're not already. I do weird videos like this all the time, so. Take care. We'll see you next time. Happy mowing. Leave a comment. Let me know if you made it this far. All right, guys. Take care.